welcome to everyone for the presentation. Myself, Abdul Qarib Stanikzai, research student of information security at the Department of Computer Science, Kamsit University, Islamabad, Pakistan. On behalf of my co-author and supervisor, Dr. Munam Ali Shah, I would like to present to you our research topic, Evaluation of Cybersecurity Threats in Banking Systems. Introduction. The financial sector is a part of the economy that consists of companies and institutions which provides financial services to commercial and retail customers. It covers a wide range of industries including banks, investment, insurance and real estate companies. Financial institutions are become more vulnerable to cyber attacks. Banks are places where money is available. According to the global FinTech site, almost 1.2 billion adults have bank accounts since 2011. So for cyber criminals, attacking banks offer a variety of ways to make a profit through extortion, robbery, and fraud, while national government also provide financial support for hackers. They target banks for political and ideological influence. The purpose of this study is to evaluate the effectiveness of existing cybersecurity methods and reducing or mitigating financial crime and achieving the confidentiality, integrity and availability of business as well as creating security recommendation for potential improvement. Objectives Everyone has internet access and there are risks associated with it. It can create huge cybersecurity threats for banking and institutions. If there is no proactive measures and for smooth operations, the basic value should gain like availability of service, integrity and accuracy of data, confidentiality of user information, analyze impact of cyber crime on banking sectors, literature review. A wide range of illicit actions on the internet or among the cybersecurity dangers. In general, there are two types of crimes, those that are directly target and damage computer network or devices, such as a malware, viruses, or denial of service attack, and those that are facilitated by network or computer devices, such as a fraud, identity theft, phishing, scams, and warfare. We describe it, these attacks in our paper briefly. Methodology. Scanners, intrusion prevention system, intrusion detection system like IDS, network firewalls, and some of are those altruistic technology used in cybersecurity. Because most attackers use port 80 or 443, SSL for business transaction. So mostly security solutions or technology are not able to protect against application level threats. Internal security of organization is provided through network firewalls that are subject to various cyber criminal attacks. For this reason, we proposed a cybersecurity cyclic framework. This is a common starting point of formation with will specific regulation requirement for cyber risk is for banks to establish a documented cyber security program or policy. These criteria usually organize around the risk management category of a governance like identification, protections, response and recoveries are among this cyclic cyber security framework. Our contribution in this paper is that we propose it a security framework which will be very beneficial for every bank and every financial sector. This figure that we show here is a security framework that describes how the traffic will filter in each part of the bank network. We use the proactive measures by separating a one LAN and DMZ, deliberatorized zone network, and install firewall at each section of network. If a firewall is, are at first step cause damage, 
at any condition, the second layer will remain active and protect the network. It can reduce cyber attack and threats. Security technologies such as IPS is filtering all incoming traffic and, and will detect all incoming attacks. ITS is a well-known monitoring and centralized control technology for network infrastructure or reporting unusual activities. Finding and analysis. Cyber attack have also hit the central banks of some world banks like New Zealand, Pakistan, also central banks or Europe. Whether because of the United States, Italy, or trade has some trade disruption, like Russia banks and Azerbaijan. The majority of these assaults in the US were fraudulent. For example, in 2021, there was a cyber attack with breach data. An actor gains unauthorized access to the bank data by using one of the third party sharing service. So like South African banks in 2020, there was also a data breach. An individual acting as a credit analyzer sold 200,000 clients' personal information to third parties. So there are also cyber attack which caused by SWIFT network. <clears throat> and as evidence lately hit by hits utilizes SWIFT, cyber attacks may be utilized for fraudulent purpose. Cyber criminals can get access to personal information such as a client online payment details. Cyber related fraud accounted for 19% or reported losses in the example as we describe it in table one here. We have also some risk assessment by base email entry money laundering with some South Asian countries. The graph shows comparative analysis of South Asian countries based on AML index, which the information is provided by Basel Institute of Governments. Conclusion and future work. Cybersecurity is a global area designed to protect and monitor networks, computer, data, and application from unauthorized access or abuse. In this study, we describe cyber attack related to information threats and its challenges, as well as solution to crime control in order to overcome cyber attack. Overall, banks are financial banking of the country and the tools available to individuals and institutions. Our findings show that cyber threats are under control. If you use a proactive measure and apply the emerging cyclic framework and some and security framework as we Describe it in the above. A healthy banking institution, bank credit should not be compromised in any way. Now is the time for banks to move beyond their traditional banking framework and work in a team spy right with a new technology and new perspective to eliminate or minimize cyber threats in the system. Thank you for your time.